to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down and from here you can see this URL. So just me open this thing in incognito window. It will activate your cloud shell. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and from here you can see this call command. This will download this GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shell. Then we have to make this file executable. For that, we have to just me run this chmod command. And for executing all the command, we have to just me run this last command over here. This one. So now just me copy all this command. Come back paste right here like this way and hit enter now i request you please pay attention over here now here you can see it's asking for the region one for that just me come back over here click on the task number two and from here you can see this both the region so make sure that this is your region one and this is your region two so just me copy all this region very carefully copy this and paste here like this way now for the region two this is your region 2 so just me copy that make sure that you are not copying any extra space otherwise you will face an error so now just me copy your region 2 paste hit enter now here you can see asking for the zone 3 for that just me click on the task number 4 scroll down a little bit and from here you can see zone so just me copy this zone okay and this is your zone 3 so just me copy that paste hit enter now we have to just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done we are done with this lab you won't get any kind of error if i exported all the value correctly now i'm going to fast forward all this waiting part so now just simply wait and watch and it's finally done now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score over here for sure and in this way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys